So this has just become one of my favorite documentaries ever. So let's talk about You Cannot Kill David Arquette. So David Arquette, famous Hollywood actor, hasn't really been in much lately. And this film basically details why. And for those who don't know, he's most famous for the Scream franchise is Dewey. <clears throat> and this is for most people pro probably don't know this. But in the early 2000s, he did a small stint on WCW, which is uh, wrestling. And to promote an upcoming movie, he became the world champion. And it basically started a shitstorm for him because our wrestling fans turned on him. Basically saying, you don't deserve this. What are you doing? You're not trained. You can't do this. And then Hollywood turned on him because he became a laughing stock. He became a joke. Which nowadays, it's not a big deal. Like, there's guest stars on wrestling now. And, of course, you got Dave Bautista and The Rock. Two, John Cena. Three huge names in filmmaking now. So, nowadays, it's not, not a big deal. But back then, it was kind of, eh. So, what is this about? It's basically about Dave Arquette trying to prove to himself and prove to the wrestling fans, like, he can actually do this. He loves wrestling. He didn't just do that just to do it. He did it because he loved the sport. He loves the theatrics of it. And this breaks down what went wrong with WCW. Why and how the fans turned on him. Hollywood turning on him. How this infected his family. How it affected his health, his well-being. How he got into heavy alcoholism and drugs. And how he's trying to make a comeback and actually properly train to wrestle at 46 years old to show people that he's legit, he can do this, and that he truly loves wrestling. And this is one of my favorite documentaries. And if you want any legitimately, or like, if you want any like credibility to it, this has, this has uh, interviews with like Ric Flair... Diamond Dallas Page, Jungle Boy, and multiple professional wrestlers appear in this and help David Arquette and all that. So, like, this isn't just a one giant ruse. This is legit. David Arquette trying to learn how to wrestle. He, he even goes to Mexico and he trains with real uh, luchadors. And if you know anything about Mexican wrestling, that stuff is intense. That stuff is really quick. And it's pretty brutal for how fast and intense they get. And he does it. And this documentary for me was hard at times to watch. Because it goes into like his mental health and his physical body just being broken. Pretty much John Repair. Because I don't think that uh, aspect of acting... Or, or uh, wrestling really gets shown a lot and I think it needs to get brought to light more that this stuff is immensely taxing on your body and on your mental health and this stuff can and will destroy you and I think that's an aspect of, of Hollywood and wrestling that needs to be brought up more because it affects probably a lot more people in those fields than we realize it's just really scary seeing what these people go through and what they do in the sport it's it's actually severely wild because i'm not like a huge wrestling fan i'm not like gotta watch it all, all the time but i've like watched pay-per-views i keep up with it pretty decently and i got like wrestling merch and all that stuff because i i do enjoy it and so i already knew what went into these like into wrestling and stuff and like a lot of people be like oh it's a fake sport no to 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 some degree yes because it's scripted it's like predetermined victors and champions and all that so to a to, to so to a certain extent yes it is fake but the training the bumps the bruises the broken bones the flips the strength to do this stuff all that is real like, not anyone can, can just get into the ring and do what they do.
Like this shit is real. It can get very violent. It can get very messy. And you can destroy your mental and physical health. So, all wrestling fans, I urge you to watch this. It's really eye-opening. It's sometimes hard to watch. And it's just a really good docu about a man's journey trying to pretty much what he believes is fixing his wrongs. And it's really incredible. So, you, can, you cannot kill David Arquette. Watch it. It's on Hulu. Stream it. It's... It's a pretty eye-opening watch. But like always, thanks for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, wash your hands. Be good people.